Now this lesson is called Ideas on What to Make, which will show you how to come up with ideas on what you can make so you can start your online business. Now this is important because running your business is something you and only you will be doing. So you may as well go into something that you like, something that you enjoy, and something that you have a keen interest in. Now here are the steps to take. The first option is to do you have any talents or skills that others are willing to pay for, such as can you play an instrument, can you play the guitar, or the piano, or the violin? If so, your first product can be showing others how to play the guitar online or how to play the violin online. Now don't worry, there are already free lessons on YouTube on this, but people always want properly structured lessons in a proper format and they're willing to pay for it as opposed to random free clips that are no longer in order. Now, so look to yourself and see if you have any specialized knowledge that you can turn into a product. Maybe, are you a good writer? Can you, can you make a good copywriting course? Are you good with your hands? Can you make a woodworking course? Do you know how to use Photoshop? Can you make a logo design course? Or even a simple course on how to make a logo? I mean, what's something that you have a skill set in and you can show others and they are willing to pay to learn. Now the good thing is it won't cost you anything to do this because you can simply create the course yourself. Now the second option, if you don't have a particular skill set, uh, you can outsource or hire someone to create the course for you. Now all you do is go to Upwork.com and there are thousands of people with amazing skills that are willing and ready to work. Just sign up for an account, it's free, and you post your job. Now candidates will respond and give you the best price and you select the best one. For example, I found many people looking for how to draw people. Now I myself have always been interested in drawing, but I don't have the skills myself. So I hired an artist to make a drawing course for me and I paid her accordingly. Now the good news is there are some amazing people with years of experience behind them who can make awesome courses, but it will cost you some money and you have to pay them every time that you need a new course in the future. Now, the third option is, do you know anyone who has a specific skill set that's interested in making some extra money? If you don't have the skills yourself and you don't have the money to hire someone, you can always partner with someone who does, who does have the skill set and who can do 50-50 deal together. For example, I used to go to Krav Maga lessons in the evenings. I met a guy who was amazing at Krav Maga. He used to come over the weekends and show me some extra moves and stuff. So eventually I asked him, hey, would you be interested in partnering up to make a Krav Maga course together? He agreed and we made Krav Maga site together. It didn't cost me anything to make. I have the marketing skills, he has the Krav Maga skills, we now have a 50-50 arrangement, so I split all the sales that come from the site as well as all the advertising costs to go with it. I mean, it's a fair arrangement, everybody wins. If it doesn't work, look, it's no big deal because we haven't lost anything or just lose a little bit of time. Now lastly, if you are looking for further ideas on what to make, one way is to check out clickbank.com. It's an online marketplace for digital products. Simply select the category and arrange it by popularity. This will tell you which products are selling well that you can get ideas from. Another way to go, you go to amazon.com, go to the book section, select the category and arrange them by bestsellers. This will also give you an indication of what people are buying and what topics are very popular. Lastly, check out uh, udemy.com it's a great site there's thousands of courses which you can search and see how many units have been sold now don't be put off by their low pricing of some of their courses if you place your course on there you'll need to sell thousands of units to make any decent money and you also have to give udemy a large cut so I'll show you how to price your products accordingly later on and do much about yourself but for now just check it out as it's a great resource to get a rough idea on what is selling well now, so just to get some ideas for now, look in the next lesson, we'll show you how to, a tool that we use to find exactly what people are searching for online and how many searches are being performed each month as well as a competition. So just to wrap it up now, now you have some ideas on what to make, how to go about it. Now let's move on to the next lesson.